Good morning! It is Monday and another start to my week. This week is a very light week for me. Hallelujah! Um, let me see. This morning, I'm going to take you guys with me to get my blood work done. Um, and then, what else? Run some errands and I have to work this afternoon. No big deal. I did not forget when I get home, um, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple more packing stuff. One of the most requested videos is what's in my bag kind of deal. And, and I've always been a little um, hesitant to do a what's in my bag thing with Jiggy because I don't know, I have, for some reason I have an aversion to it. I mean, I like watching those videos. I notice like a lot of chicks that do it, they're like, oh, this is my Chanel bag, da 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 da. I'm like, whatever, people. Like, I like nice bags, but I'm not like a collector of really obsessed with them um, I've been using the same freaking bag for like years I don't find any reason to buy like a lot of designer bags I don't I don't find there's a need for me personally to buy a lot of designer bags and like switch out my bags every time I change outfits it's like hell no that's too much damn time um, this what's in my bag is specifically for my travel stuff um, my travel totes that's what I'm going to call it and I think it's a pretty safe zone you I'm also going to show what's in my carry-on because um, I have one of those roller carry-ons and I'll tell you guys why I have that. I used to carry like a backpack or like a bag that I would put like a bunch of stuff in it but oh my god like that shit used to kill my damn shoulders no joke. So now I um, have this like cute little roller bag which I've had like for eons um, and it's perfect and I can stuff that thing and roll it along and I don't hurt my shoulders. So yeah, that's what I have coming up this afternoon or this, you know, whenever I have time today for you guys. Um, oh my gosh, you guys ever like wake up in the morning, slept so damn hard on your face that like you get bed sheet, you know, the impressions of the bed sheet. I had that going on this morning. <laughs> it was like when I went to the spa, it looked like I had my face in the toilet bowl, you know. <laughs> Been like massaging the hell out of this like imp sheet impression. Um, but it's not going anywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Somebody needs to develop something to get rid of that stuff like ASAP. You know, it's like fun to travel but then when you get home it's like oh my god like I love my house I love my bed you know there's something about your own bed and your own pillow the stupidest thing is like when you travel like you're supposed to it's supposed to be a vacation but it feels like sometimes um, you need a vacation after your vacation you know oh you know what and let me tell you something yesterday when I got home I was checking the mail you know and I got an invitation from one of our friends um, to come and celebrate the Thanksgiving um, at their house and I love these oh my god I love these friends no joke the husband and wife and they have a son same age as Mr. RJ but they are in Clickville you know they a lot of the people that they hang out with are in Clickville and I love our friends I don't know if I can handle being around Clickville so I gotta think about this you know I'm not gonna show the invitation to my hubby because he always feels like he always feels obligated like if you get an invitation he says you gotta go my ass you gotta go you don't gotta do anything you don't want to do you know for a lot in our thoughts about that kind of stuff he's very PC about stuff and as you can tell I am not and I don't really care um, so we're gonna I'm gonna see how this is gonna play out so here we are okay this is um, the medical center and weirdly my office is here as well where I actually have all of my doctors and uh, I gotta get my blood work this morning <clears throat> and I'm debating whether I should just stay here and with my appointment or go home really quickly and do some stuff and then come back we'll see we'll see come on people move it about this place is there are a lot of old people that come to that building that we just passed oh look at her come on now mama Ooh, that lady she's all decked out so cute <clears throat> anyway there's a lot of old people and they drive slow as molasses no joke okay let me valet my car all right the lab. lab. Hopefully there's not a lot of people here today. I hope, I hope. Mm -hmm. 
waiting for my favorite lab girl. She's the only one that knows how to get my labs. Favorite girl. She, she's the only one who does my blood. <laughs> yes. That was fast. Alrighty. Thank goodness for my trusty old tip wallet. Here you go. Thank you. Oh yeah, that was pretty painless. And that girl, her name is Brittany. Oh my gosh, I freaking love her. She takes the best blood like ever, ever, ever. I don't even feel it. It's awesome. So now instead of staying here, I think I'm going to go pick up dog food and possibly um, and also I think I'm gonna run by DSW because I want to find me another pair of shoes for traveling um, those Tory Burch are the most uncomfortable and stupid me forgot my teaks um, I don't know why I didn't like use my teaks instead of the Tory Burches it's so stupid stupid um, not honest truth is ballet flats are not the most comfortable anyways um, if I were to give it like a um, what do you if I were to compare like the Tory Burch versus the Teeks, Teeks blows Tory Burch out of the water. Um, but I forgot to stink and use that one. I don't know why. Um, what I'm thinking I want to do is last time I was at DSW, I saw these really cute um, sneakers that were like cuter, you know, for travel. I think I want to see if they have my size and pick those up because I think I'm going to start traveling in actual sneakers and forgo the whole like cute look, you know? And I want to get it now since I have some time this morning. So that way, when I travel again in February and March, I will be set. Okay, and um, Jamie asked me about my lip color. So this lip color is by Bite. I don't know the exact color, but I'll get it for you. And the last time I had lip color on, that one was by F mm, Sephora. <laughs> yeah, it was by Sephora. It was their uh, lip stain. You guys are like big like makeup lovers or whatever um there was this huge thing that kylie jenner she was using this particular lipstick the color was whirl by mac now i have used whirl lip liner for like eons okay and they never made it into a lipstick until now so it was like the rage you know buddy and their mother was looking or was on the hunt for that world color well, i happen to have that color i happen to have found that color at the mac store by my house i picked it up and it is a color for fall because it's very dark but for me I noticed that I don't look good with dark lipsticks dark lipsticks I look kind of like goth <laughs> like Adam's family ish kind of that's what I think anyway um but yeah so maybe I'll try to wear it and then you guys can tell me what you guys think um but usually I go for like mauves more neutral colors you know not too dark and not too like fluorescent -y, you know yeah Boy, why is everybody and their mother going so stinking slow today? Come on, people! This lady in front of me, I think she's like texting because she's like swerving all over creation. Pay attention to the road. I'm snapping and I'm still driving straight. Hey, about you guys, but I never really get road rage at all. Like, I don't get so pissed off that I like start cussing out people or whatever, ever, ever, ever. It's just like, to me, that's a, like a um, waste of energy utterly and completely unnecessary me okay that's what I think however when I drive and people are like slow or they're stupid I kindly give friendly advice from behind them <laughs> it's my uh, PSA public service announcement hey fool stop texting and driving at the same time that's what I'm saying to myself but not out loud to them you know if tell you a funny thing too okay so you remember mr. RJ has today is his Thanksgiving party for um, the drum line okay and remember he wants to only do mashed potatoes out of the box right so the party doesn't start till 5 okay but he has to be at this girl's house this morning to help out with like decorations and making presents for the seniors or whatever okay took him off before I went to get my lab work done right and then he goes oh mom by the way can you make my box of mashed potatoes for me what so now because uh, I'm the one stuck making the mashed potatoes I'm almost tempted to make real mashed potatoes but I just don't think I'm gonna have enough time for real See my kids, they always pull this kind of fast stuff on their mommy, you know? As if I don't have enough stuff to do today. Like now, I gotta go shopping for shoes. And we're here! Oh, DSW! Oh, you took my stall! Meaner. 
All right, so let's go shoe shopping. Pray for me that I stay focused and don't buy more than one pair of shoes. Shit, here I go down the damn boot aisle. This is going to be a bad, bad thing. Uh. <laughs> These are very cute. These are Sam Edelman's. Oh yeah, yeah, I know why they're so stinking cute because I already bought them. Look. <laughs> I need to get my butt out of that damn boot section because she don't need boots. She need boots like she need a hole in the damn head. Stick to sneakers, Nadine. Stick to sneakers. We're in the sneaker aisle. Now we're back on track. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> you know, today is one of those days again that I just want to kick my own ass because the shoe that I wanted, I saw like a few weeks ago and I should have picked it up when I saw it, but I didn't, and now what? Very cute, they're very light. That's what I wanted, something very light. But, of course, they don't have my size. I wear a size five and a half and everything starts at six. Let's try a six in this just for shits and giggles. We'll see. Ooh, that's very cute. Very, very cute. And it feels very, very good. Ugh, I think I should buy these. These kicks are so stinking comfy. They're light and they are have great support. Pumas it is. Alright. That was freaking awesome. Good job, Nadine. Didn't get sidetracked. Sneakers, check! You ever have like a really good shopping day and then you're like saying to yourself, I should keep it going because it's my lucky day kind of deal? I'm feeling like that right now. So let me think. Because I'm feeling lucky, I feel like I should continue shopping. What else do I need? Target. Let's go to Target. Like more, pay less. I should say, buy more pay more because you never leave here with just a few things you know whenever I see um, these inexpensive stockings at like Target in the dollar section I pick them up because what I do is I stuff these with a whole bunch of different kind of um, small gifts and then I ship them off to my mom my sister my sister-in-law my dad um, stuff like that like the adults in my family they're kind of hard to buy for so I just buy them small little things that I know they're gonna love like gift cards and whatnot and I put it in there and then send it off and it's so in last week's Target ad there was a gravy boat warmer and now they don't have it so this is the second ass kicking of the day for myself because I was so busy I didn't get a chance to come and get it oh that's the problem sometimes you know funny a couple of weeks ago my friend Corey you guys know her as the reset girl she texted me and asked me to hunt for that bag on all of my targets so I went to five targets no bag and now we don't need it because she already found it look it's here that's freaking Murphy's law I hate Murphy I share with you the big hype about this bag first of all everybody's loving it for their planner stuff it's really really cute it just has one zip hold on let me open this thing when you open it I mean it's nothing fancy there's like a few pockets in here I don't know if you guys can see it. And then a zipper pocket on this side. See that? I think would fit like an A5 size without problem. Even possibly your Erin Condren, your Emily Lay Simplified Planner, stuff like that I think would fit in here. It was kind of um, very lightweight though, very flimsy. I do think it is water repellent though. That's one of the good things. But do I think it's worth $29.99? No. Look, Burt's Bees got new um, flavors. Pumpkin spice, vanilla bean, and the mint cocoa. Mm. I think I'm gonna try that one maybe. Skirts right here are so stinking cute. It would be so cute with some tights. I think I should get one of these. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe not. This pattern is a little busy. Too busy for me. This jacket, it's so cute. I like the way it hangs. And it has buttons and pockets, which is a must. And then the belt with a pair of jeans or a nice pair of slacks or even like a dress or a skirt I think I'm gonna get this or maybe not I'm not exactly feeling it and it's because this top part right here looks not I don't know after I bought these little um, bins from Walmart I've been getting questions about what aisle it's in it's in this aisle with all the beads see right there and they have a different size excitement over my shoes 
I almost forgot that I needed to buy dog food. So we're at Walmart buying dog food and I gotta drop it off at home before I go to work. And I figured since we're here, we might as well see if they have that like gravy boat warmer at Walmart because Walmart has everything. Maybe they don't have everything because they don't have that stinking gravy boat warmer. Now I gotta go to Bed Bath & Beyond. Ah. Check it out. Whose hubby needs these Santa boxers? <laughs> these cute little um, kitchen towels. Free the elves. They don't feel very soft, but they're cute. I was also on the hunt for this and we couldn't find it. I asked all the people in the aisle that work here and they couldn't find it. So, reps who actually refill the shelves. She found it for me and hunted me down before I left Walmart and she found it for me and gave it to me. So sweet, I tell you what. It has been my lucky day with stuff. I'm not even joking. Maybe I should play the lottery or something. <laughs> I've made with the people on snapchat and on Instagram or whatever like if somebody needs something and you didn't don't know where to find it you ask and somebody tells you just like today prime example I didn't find the gravy boat that I needed from Walmart or Target and then my friend Jamie on here she said I saw it at Bed Bath & Beyond and so sister will be going there after work because I need that gravy boat mm -hmm. thanks Jamie Ooh, I am home from work the very first thing I have to do was make stinking mashed potatoes very annoying and I had to just taste it to make sure that I had enough salt and butter I'll tell you guys this that entire box of mashed potatoes makes a whole hell of a lot of mashed potatoes to the point that I actually have extras here mm. entire big bowl of mashed potatoes left over I guess I don't know we'll have it for dinner or something oh speaking of dinner let me share something with you guys so usually the week of Thanksgiving, I like to keep things simple as far as dinner goes because I know I'm going to be cooking up a storm on Thanksgiving. Um, and let me show you guys one of the things that my Instagram friend showed me. So on Instagram, someone had shared with me that they had a soup made by this company and I was like, oh, that looks pretty good. Now I am a lover of cheddar broccoli, but this week I'm kind of lazy to make it from scratch. So I figured because I'm trying to keep my meals simple this week that I would give this one, um, this Bear Creek cheddar broccoli, a try. And basically it's just eight cups per bag. Wait, reverse, rewind, that didn't make any sense. It's eight cups of water per bag of cheddar broccoli soup. So I bought two bags and that's 16 cups. Uh, four, uh, four people, you know what I mean? Three adults and my daughter, because since RJ's at his Friendsgiving, actually she's like an adult too, so. While I'm thinking about it, let me share with you guys some happy meal I got in the mail. <laughs> it's a different kind of happy meal. It's not planner related or craft related. Every year we do gift baskets for other offices that refer to our office and I always order a few other things for myself. Let me share with you some things that I ordered. I ordered from William Sonoma because that's one of the things that I put in the gift baskets. Not these things particularly but I'll show you guys as I pack up the gift baskets. So let me point out that they packaged up really good like their bubble wrap. Look at that. In there there's a jar and you cannot break this jar even if you try. Look at how good it is. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, this this thing is like hardcore. It even has like a little valve that they put the air in once they put your product in. So this, so this is pecan pumpkin butter. And I showed you guys this um, when I was shopping the other week. I'm gonna show you guys what I use this for and how I make it. It's really, really good. And this is the matching um, spice pecan pumpkin quick bread mix. And it's packaged up so good in bubble wrap and this had opened up it wouldn't have spilled all over the place and had powder all over the box next is this pumpkin seed brittle and this is the one I was eating the other day when I went so 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 good I figured I would bring it home or buy some for my family to try so that should be and lastly is this fig port sauce let me take it out of this um, bubble wrap killer bubble wrap here it is this is called their fig port braising sauce so basically what you're gonna do is whatever kind of meat that you want to make in this you're going to simmer it in this sauce in the oven and if you recall, I actually tasted um, the sample that they had that day that I went to live in Sonoma. It was so good, I figured I would try it and uh, make it too. So this is going to be added to my list of easy dishes this week. Um, and I'm going to make a pork, uh, fig pork this week with this. So let's get back to the soup. All you have to do is bring eight cups of water to a boil and then whisk in the soup mix. Mm, easy peasy, we can definitely do that this week. All right, so as I wait for my water to boil for my soup, I wanted to go over and show you guys what I carry in my travel tote. And this travel tote is a leather tote made by Kuyana. 
and if you follow me on YouTube, you saw that I actually went to the shop to order this in San Francisco. And I seriously love this bag. Um, I had my initials embossed in it, um, and the straps are very comfortable. It's all very supple, and it holds an awful lot. So we're gonna take out the stuff inside of here, and I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here. I'm actually having an insert made for this bag, and I will show that to you guys when it comes in. First things first, um, it has a pocket on the inside right here. This is where I usually put my um, phone and also my tip wallet it goes in here, my glasses. Also, there's a card here for the car service that I use. Um, if you saw when I came out of Nordstrom, I use a car service and that's the car service we use. First things first is my travel wallet and this is a Kate Spade wallet that I got at the outlet and then the business card case which I've turned into my tip wallet. Next, I have my Louis Vuitton Passport Size MTM that was made for me by Glenda and I will do a walkthrough of this on my YouTube channel so stay tuned for that. Next, I have my charger case. This has um, a big charger that can charge anything, laptop, um, iPad, anything. And then I have this portable charger which is so slim and tiny that it actually fits into my bag, any bag that I use um, really really well. It doesn't take up much space at all. This case is a simple zip around case that I got from Forever 21. It initially was made to house brushes but I don't use the brushes so I took it out and I'm just using it for my phone chargers. Next is my hard case um, that has my sunglasses in it and this is a sunglass case and sunglasses from Kate Spade. And then I have this cosmetic case by Sonia Kashuk. Um, this was a rack from my friend Melody um, and I really love it so I'm going to open it and show you guys what I have in here. And in here I just have some floss, some lip balm, some hand lotion, some drama made for my daughter because she gets car sick, um, some medicine, some gum, some mints, some eye drops, a little mirror that I got from um, Jasmine who's Filofaxin, um, some lactate from my husband, some glass some band-aids and also a um, iPad cleaner, laptop cleaner, or glasses cleaner. So that's everything that's in this case. Then when I'm traveling, I also carry two pairs of um, earphones. One of them is just earbuds from Bose and the other one is over-the-ear earphones from Sony. And my Bose earphones, um, earbuds, I just put them in my little macaron case and this macaron case is from Charming Charlie's. So this is what my Bose looks like. And I just like wind it all together and it goes nicely into my macaron case. Next is my Sony headphones. Um, and this I use if I want to be productive and actually do some work as far as editing on the plane. It is very comfortable. It actually keeps out the noise as well. And it can be worn over your ear for long periods of time. And was highly recommended for me by one of my girlfriends who works in the in the television and movie industry. Um, this is what the people that work in that industry, this is what they use. Next, I have my LG tablet that I've already shown you guys. If I wanna read Kindle or do anything else on the plane, I use that. And then I also showed you guys my jewelry case. And then lastly, I got this really cute um, Kleenex case from Marine Parents. And if you guys don't know her, her name is April. <clears throat> She's actually on Instagram, check her out. She's so sweet. And let me give you the backstory behind her little company on Etsy. She is trying to save up money to adopt um, a child from, I think, China. Or it might be Korea, I can't remember. But anyhow, her and her husband are trying um, really hard to adopt a child. And so everything that she makes from her little shop goes towards that. So you guys know me, I'm all about supporting small shops, especially when there's something behind it, like this story right here with them. So if you guys are interested and you guys are looking for really cute handmade items, and you'd like to support a small shop that actually is working towards a goal, might I suggest you guys check out Marine Parents on Instagram and on Etsy as well. And I forgot, I have one more thing in here. Now this is my little travel document case and let me show you guys what's in this thing. It has a little Velcro closure. When you open it, it has our tickets, our itinerary, anything to do with our traveling goes here. It has a bunch of different pockets um, that you could put like receipts and such and credit cards or IDs and a pen. Now when I'm not traveling, all I do is I fold my bag up nicely and then I put it in the dust cover bag that I showed you guys earlier. This bag and then I just store it until I'm ready to travel again the next time. Now I also have a Louis Vuitton Never Full bag. However, I don't really love that one for travel because the more things you stuff in it, it tends to leave some marks and cut into your shoulder because the straps are too thin. Versus this bag, actually the straps are a great size and are supple so that it doesn't hurt your shoulder. It's teeny tiny Primentis on my desk. He's angry at me. Come on, you wanna fight? 
you fight fight okay so i didn't forget jamie um the lippy that i was using earlier today is actually by nars see that and this one actually came in a sample box it was um not a sample box i'm sorry it came with my birthday thingy majiggy like if you have a birthday and you're signed up with um sephora give you like a free birthday gift and this was in the free birthday gift it was this color and another color and a mascara perhaps or something and this thing doesn't say what color it is so i'm sorry but um if you go to sephora they still have it i know that because i think i've seen the boxes um so yeah sorry sorry you guys might hear like a lot of talking in the background because my nephews are actually here and they're like my son is so like happy to see them See if they don't mind being on my Snapchat. Yo yo, say hi on Auntie Snapchat. Hello. <laughs> Fur first. <laughs> They're so freaking adorable. Um, they drove up here from New Braunfels, which is where they live, and they're here to pick up my niece from college tomorrow. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my video and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified when new videos are uploaded, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Product links and recipes can be found on my blog or in the description box below. TTFN, ta-ta for now!